Canelo has 48 days until September 12th, the targeted date for him to fight, and still has not announced his opponent. Oh my gosh, more bad news that the zone curse continues. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash app, and the Patreon family. We working. Head over to my Patreon. I just dropped a video. It's the group sessions um, with the channel members and the Patreons and the YouTube channel members. And we're talking about boxing topics. It's been a great time. If you want to join the movement, um, click the join button and become a YouTube channel member or head over to the Patreon. We cooking up. Now, more bad news for DAZN, Golden Boy, and Canelo. I was born ready, Alvarez, right? 48 days until the targeted date that Canelo Alvarez wishes to fight. And just before I get started, I will prove it, right? I will prove it. Today is the 26th of July, the very last week of this month before entering a new month. Then next month is August, right? We still haven't heard Canelo's opponent, y'all. So August 1st is the Saturday. That's one week. The 8th, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we're all the way over till September. Six weeks. Six weeks. And to get to the 12th, it's exactly 48 days. But we know typically there's fight week. You know, it might be a little bit different because of the pandemic. They don't have fight week grand arrivals and stuff like that. So whatever. It's still 48 days between today's date at the time of me recording this video and the date Canelo said he wanted to fight with no mention, no word of who he's fighting. In addition, I brought this up, new media. Mike Tyson is going to be fighting against Roy Jones that same very day, that very same day. Mm -mm -mm. Canelo's team have dragged their feet, the zone. They've dragged their feet. And now you type in the simple name Canelo Alvarez and you look at the top stories. It says, Lawyer, the zone is holding up plans for Canelo's next fight. Does not look good. Oscar De La Hoya, the zone hasn't approved Canelo Alvarez's opponents. Not looking good. The DAZN curse continues. Quigley on Canelo. This could be like Apollo Creed giving Rocky his his shot. Wow. Listen, that's how you know when Canelo is fighting a less than desired option. When the opponent who may get selected, Jason Quigley, is comparing him fighting Canelo to Apollo Creed giving Rocky Balboa a shot. That's crazy, bro. And this is supposed to be the face of boxing. DAZN and Golden Boy have made a mess of Canelo's recent career. It's just what it is. And it says Canelo Alvarez, September 12th, fight at risk, having issues with DAZN, which is what I told you guys, right? DAZN wants Canelo Alvarez to take a pay cut. This is what happens when you pull up Canelo's name on Google, the number one search engine in the world. And guess what's number two? My platform, YouTube, which is owned by Google. This is what is coming up. So this is bad news. DAZN wants Canelo Alvarez to take a pay cut, delaying the fight announcement. And that's not the only reason. That's not entirely true because there is no fight announcement. They haven't said that they've got an opponent. Canelo DAZN reportedly at odds over a payday for September return. So, you know, it's looking grim. DAZN wants Canelo to take a pay cut. Mm -mm -mm. This is the top news when you're dealing with Canelo Alvarez. So they've totally taken a guy who was a pay-per-view star, established on pay-per-view, fought the great TBE, easy work, Money Mayweather, right? Fought legends like Miguel Cotto as well. Been on pay-per-view, two successful million-plus pay-per-views with Triple G, and now all this. And now the man has 48 days. He seems to be at odds with DAZN. He seems to be at odds with his promoter, golden boy and only the radical man fans that don't want to hear these truths get mad when i say it 
This is ESPN. Canelo's lawyer says DAZN is holding up the plans for the next Alvarez fight. This was a couple of days ago. So where they're at is, they said Canelo's in great shape. He's training hard and he's ready and on track to fight on September. This was before Mike Tyson and Roy Jones was announced when this article came out. So that creates a separate issue, which I've talked about. And I was the first one to talk about new media, digital mob, right? How is Canelo with with an op opponent less than desired, more than likely a foreign op uh, opponent who's not from America, like Jason Quigley from Ireland, uh, Caleb Smith, John Ryder, Toriano Johnson from the, Beh the Bahamas. How is he going to outsell Mike Tyson or Roy Jones Jr. or even compete when nobody asked for any of those fights that Canelo may fight? Caleb Smith, he's a champion, yes, but he's coming off of a bad performance versus John Ryder. John Ryder has a total of five losses. Should have beat Caleb Smith. That's definitely um, what the consensus is. But on paper, he lost that fight. So if people aren't familiar with the names, what do they do? They turn to Wikipedia and BoxRec, try to do some research, and they're going to see a guy, John Ryder, who doesn't look the part. Like, you know, he doesn't look bigger than Canelo or, you know, super intimidating. And he's going to have five losses. Billy Joe Saunders already dropped out. And time is a ticking, you know, and they're talking. And Jason Quigley is making statements saying, if Canelo picks me, it'll be like when Apollo Creed picked Rocky Balboa. Yeah, bum rock. Hey, nothing is over. Just give me something to drink. You know, it's like Canelo is like Apollo when he picked me. Like this, this just looks so bad for Canelo. New media says everybody, including Canelo's team, is waiting to see if DAZN is going to live up to his obligations. So what it sounds like is. Canelo is just at odds. He 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 doesn't want to take a pay cut. And DAZN is like, hey, we're not going to keep paying you top dollar. So in essence, you have the biggest fighter who's attached to DAZN being frozen out while they have this standoff. They don't have a desired enough opponent. And as a result, Canelo's like, no, nah, it says in the contract, you're going to pay me this much. And DAZN is like, no, we don't want to pay you for these options. So, you know, it seems like they're butting heads. You know, it's looking a mess. Golden Boy has Ryan Garcia. We don't know when he's fighting. 48 days till Canelo fights. You know, old media can avoid these situations, but it's really a bad look, and it's unfortunate. Canelo, I do think he's a tremendous fighter. I think he, you know, he's a model citizen in terms of um, he's disciplined, stuff like that. But him being beefing with his promoter and being at odds and, you know, these types of things, definitely not a good look to the brand. I think the Triple G fight, for whatever reason, DAZN still wants to make Canelo Triple G3 for whatever reason. But I, I just don't see that fight having the same allure or luster. You look at Canelo's uh, last fight, he was made to look like a fool, waiting for UFC main event to end so he could go up. This is just not superstar treatment, you know, for whatever reason. They say your net worth is your net work. And that's what it's looking like, just bad decisions. And Canelo's not absolved from this. He, you know, he's part of the problem too. Like, you know, no one told him to fight Kovalev. Then DAZN's made some like really questionable choices. And this is what happens. This is the market that they've created. Overpaying guys. And now we're in a pandemic. Now you can't afford to overpay them. And you have certain provisions or lack thereof in people's contracts. So now people are holding you to these, these inflated rates that you were once willing to pay to sign Canelo or Golovkin and now you don't have the especially in the pandemic the options to feed them that justify making that that money so you're, you're depleting your whole cash flow so what do you do you take your biggest star freeze him out make him look bad like this 48 day, 48 days until his Mexican date that he wants so bad Canelo listen Canelo said he wants to fight he, he had an opportunity to beat Floyd Mayweather came up short he didn't collect the Mexican dates from because Floyd, even though he's not Mexican, he had customarily fought on those dates after beating De La Hoya in May, Cinco de Mayo weekend, and also in September. So Canelo couldn't beat him. We know that. Then Floyd retires. So by default, Canelo gets bumped up. He's the biggest name. And just look what's happened to his career since signing to DAZN. Like he held it, held the torch, put on some big fights with Triple G. Chavez Jr. did good numbers, pay-per-view, Cotto, stuff like that. And everything seems booming, especially when he beat Triple G. But 
is literally after he beat Triple G and HBO folded and decided to peace out deuces and get out of the boxing business. And he made the decision to go to the zone. You just seen questionable decision, um, a lack of visibility, a lack of promotion. They, in fact, the zone had promoted KSI Logan Paul to in a better, in my opinion, a better fashion than Canelo versus Kovalev. So pure disrespect Two guys who had never boxed before as pro fighters. And they're getting a red carpet treatment. And then you have a star like Canelo and he's sitting down on a couch waiting for UFC to end. Kovalev, UFC. I would say debacle. Let me see what that comes up. He's waiting for another another person, a rival person like DAZN has has Bellator. You know what I mean? So why are they waiting for and playing and airing a UFC fight? You know, it was just look. Disgrace Canelo takes a back seat. Look at what's coming up, bro. Canelo Alvarez says he won't allow DAZN to delay his fights. You know, DAZN asked subscribers for feedback after Alvarez Kovalev. DAZN tap out to UFC. Just look at these. DAZN, that's, they said that it surged after UFC. That's cap, bro. DAZN sends survey to subscribers after Alvarez Kovalev. Cause they want to see how 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 much faith in the public they had lost it says are you a disowned i didn't even know they did this i didn't even make a video about this are you a disowned subscriber who was put off by the delay the long delay of the fight for canelo and kovalev well now you can let the streaming oh okay i thought that's what the zone has sent out on friday the zone emailed a survey to subscribers soliciting their thoughts on a wide range of topics on the Canelo Kovalev broadcast. See, they don't do they know what they're doing? They just the zone was lambasted by fans and journalists for delaying Canelo Alvarez Kovalev fight until after the conclusion of the UFC pay-per-view. Floyd has never waited for nobody in the combat sports event to end. Like he's not big enough to go whenever he wants or whenever it's his natural time on the card. You know, this goes without saying. All these things hurt Canelo's visibility. It makes it look disorganized. Um, I don't know what's even going to happen next. But in a pandemic, it's a bad look. 48 days, Canelo's still no opponent. We're still waiting for that. He's training. But if you haven't even signed your opponent, are they training? Like, are people like Quigley and Ryder training as hard as they can if they don't even know if they're getting the fight? You know, this thing is all messed up. So I can imagine Canelo's probably going to have to give up the date because Mike Jones, I mean, excuse me, Mike Jones, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones have taken the date. You know what I mean? So how is Canelo going to fight on that date? This just looks like a clusterfuck of different things. And we'll see what happens next. That's my time. Shot, <laughs> sign up for ESPN Plus below using my link. There's some great content, archive fights, documentaries, docu-series, exclusives, BTS. If you're interested in ESPN Plus, click the link in the description. It does help the channel in a phenomenal way when you guys click on that link. Get ESPN Plus as a standalone app or you can bundle it. ESPN Plus, Hulu and Disney Plus, all three apps, one price, $12.99. We'll see. But Canelo, Golden Boy and DAZN, the DAZN curse has struck again and they've dug themselves in a hole and they have about 48 days, no announcement to try to rectify this or officially back off the date and say Canelo's not fighting again on the quote unquote Mexican dates. We'll see what they decide. You know, tune into my channel for the realest boxing talk. You know, the latest and greatest. If you're a fan of boxing, you should be a fan of mine. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. We working. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.